Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to learn the world of counting function in Microsoft Excel. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced user, this video will equip you with the knowledge to master the art of counting and analyzing your data efficiently. In this video, we will explore variety of powerful count functions that include count, count a, count blank, count if, count ifs, decount, and decount a. These powerful count functions will enable you to uncover valuable insight hidden within your data from basic counting to more advanced techniques. We have covered all. So don't skip this video and watch it till end. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. The first function is the count function. The count function basically counts the total number of numerical values that comes under its range. So we will write the formula equal count bracket start and then give it the values like for example I wanted to know the total number of entries here in this column then I will close this bracket and press enter. So it is counting them as 20 as per confirmed by the serial number. Similarly, if I want to calculate not only the numerical values, also interested in counting the total number of entries, either they are numerical or they are the text one, then I have to use the formula count A. Then bracket start and now I will select the total number of entries in the first three rows, then close this bracket and press enter and now you can see that 18 entries in the first three rows are counted here. Now for example, if I delete some of the entries over here and then wanted to calculate the total number of blank cells in the selected area, then I have to use the formula count blank. I will write equal count blank bracket start, give it the range where I want to calculate the blank entries and then close this bracket and press enter. So you can see that it is counting the total number of blank cells which are left in the worksheet. So these were the simple counting functions. If you want to count a number or the entry these functions are used. But what if you want to count on the basis of some criteria. So criteria based counting comes under the count if function. So I will write the formula equal count if bracket start. Now I have to give it the range. The range for example the range this time I want to give it the item list. Then I have to give it the criteria the criteria will be written in this cell. So I will select it and then close the bracket and hit the enter. Now if I write here CD, it will count the total number of CDs that I have given it in the range. If I write over here RAM, it will calculate the total number of RAMs in this worksheet. So now the counting is not the simple counting but the counting is based on a criteria and the criteria is the item. So you can count the numbers of entries in your worksheet based on a specific criteria using this count if function. Now we are going to start the count ifs function. Here in this function we will not count on a single criteria but we can have number of different criteria and on the basis of those criteria we calculate the total number. So I will write equal count ifs bracket start and give it the first criteria range and the first criteria range is the item type. Then I will have to write after comma the criteria that I will write in, in this cell then again comma the second criteria range the company then again comma 
and here I have to write the criteria cell and that is this cell and then close this bracket and hit the enter. So now I am interested in counting the total number of CDs sold by the company writer. So you can see that our result is 3 which means that in the data we have 3 entries for the CDs by the company writer. So you can see that the counting is based on two criteria. You can also add another criteria in this formula. Basically the difference between the count if and count ifs function is the total number of criterias. The count if function count on the basis of a single criteria and count ifs function count on the basis of number of criterias at the same time. Decount function is actually the most advanced function in the count series. I will write equal d count bracket start and first I have to give it a database. We will select the whole table of the entries as the database. Then I have to give it a field. So the field is the marks. Then I have to give it a criteria. And the criteria are basically selected with the headings. So I will select headings with the criteria cells and then close this bracket and hit the enter. So it is telling us that we have total 20 counts under this database. So what type of count we want we have to write over here. I want you to know the total number of students in the class 6. So it is telling me that there are 5 students. Then I want you to know that how many students are of age 10 year. Then it is telling me that only one student is in class 6 and the age of that student is 10 year. Then I give it another criteria that age is less than 10 year and then wanted to count this number. The number is again 1. And again, if I change this criteria to greater than or equal to 10, now wanted to see the result, you can see that it is counting them as 4, which means that there are 4 students in the class 6 whose age is more than or equal to 10 years. So you change the criteria and on the basis of the criteria, the results are changing or the results are shown. So you can get various type of interpretation from the same data set by applying this formula at the same time. Now the decount a function differ from the decount function same as the count function differ from the count a function which means that the decount a function will also count the numerical values as well as the text values. So I will write the formula equal count bracket start give it the database then comma the field this time is the gender comma and the criteria with their headings and close this bracket and hit the enter now you can see that the count is zero but we have 20 entries so what is wrong in our formula we go to the formula bar and see that there is a count written over here, not count A. And we have selected the gender as the criteria. So we have to write count A and then press enter. And now you can see that we have the count 20. So for example, I wanted to know the how many students are the male students. It is 13 students male and seven students female you can use the criteria either they are numerical or they are the text ones and that brings us to the end of our comprehensive exploration of counting function in excel we hope you found this video informative and that you are now equipped with the tools to make your data analysis a breeze
Remember, Excel offers a wide range of counting functions, each with its unique capabilities. By harnessing these functions, you can unlock meaningful insight, spot trends, and make data-driven decisions with confidence. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting Excel tutorials and tips. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep counting, keep exploring and keep excelling.